Hello guys, this is Mike Chang here at Six Pack Shortcuts. I'm with my buddy Daniel Rose. And uh, today we're going to be talking to you guys about the five myths of uh, getting six pack abs. This is a continuation of our other video which got a great response. So in this one we're going to go more in depth and tell you what the myths are and exactly how to get a six pack. Uh, so kick us off, uh, Mike, what is the first, first myth about getting six pack abs? Uh, first myth is all fat is bad for you and consuming fat will get you fat. And uh, just keep in mind, there is a little bit of truth behind every myth, and we're going to kind of bust them now. So when it comes to fat, you know, me and Dan, we actually eat a pretty good amount of fat. But keep in mind, though, the fat that we're eating is not fat that usually uh, people consume. Uh, good fats are things like coconut oil, um, any type of nuts. Like we like what, almonds, pecans, uh, you know, walnuts, things like that. Um, also, olive oil is good, and that's very, very important because a lot of people try to cut all the fat out of their diets, and your body actually needs the fat. Just as long as you're eating fats like those, your body is not going to actually get fat. It's when you're consuming, you know, chips and pizza and burgers <laughs> and all that stuff. That's that's when the the weight actually it actually gets added on. And I have noticed too, a lot of people who try to eliminate fat totally uh, because their body craves those calories so much, they end up eating a lot of sugar. Yeah, um, and a lot of like uh, refined carbohydrates. Breads. Um, yeah, exactly. Processes. And think they're eating healthy. They're eating low fat, but yeah. you know, if you replace fat with carbohydrates, yeah, it's not a good idea. Okay, Mike. So what's the second myth about getting six pack abs? Uh, second myth is diet is king, and you know the key to everything. <laughs> diet, diet, diet. Don't worry about anything. Just get on the good diet. You'll be fine. This is usually sold by diet gurus, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah by diet. Um, you know. Diet is important. People don't realize that dieting actually lowers your metabolism. And when your metabolism is lower, that means your body doesn't want to burn any more calories because it doesn't need to. It slows your metabolism down. And so maybe at maybe in a normal pace when you're not dieting, you're burning, let's say, 2,000 calories. And then when you start dieting, before you know it, you know your body drops all the way down to only burning maybe 1,200 calories. So it's kind of balancing out. As you eat less, you burn less. So even though dieting is important and you have to eat clean in order to get six pack abs, you have to keep your metabolism high. And that's where the working out comes in. That's where doing specific exercises to increase the amount of muscle to keep it, keep the burning high in your body. That's when that's important. So people who just diet, they'll just end up, you know, basically losing a little bit of fat and afterwards a plateau right away. So as they go ahead and start eating regular again, they end up gaining the weight.